Have you ever thought about the danger lurking in the very water you drink? It's a chilling thought, isn't it? But it's a reality we must face. Today we're diving into the world of waterborne illnesses, these invisible threats that can wreak havoc on our health. From mild discomfort to severe diseases, they pose a significant risk. It's time to understand these threats better because waterborne illnesses are more common than you think, and they're closer to home than you'd like to believe. So, what exactly are waterborne illnesses? Well, in the simplest terms, waterborne illnesses are diseases that are transmitted through the consumption of contaminated fresh water. They're caused by pathogenic microorganisms. That's a fancy way of saying disease-causing tiny life forms that are too small to see with the naked eye. These microorganisms thrive in water that has been polluted by fecal matter or other contaminants. When this tainted water is consumed, the pathogens find a new home in the human body where they can cause illness. Some of the most well-known waterborne illnesses include cholera, giardiasis, and typhoid. Cholera and typhoid are bacterial infections that can cause severe diarrhea and fever, while giardiasis is a parasitic infection that can lead to stomach cramps and nausea. These diseases, while preventable, can have severe health consequences if not treated properly. So, it's crucial to understand how they're caused and how they can be avoided. Now that we know what waterborne illnesses are, how do they get into our water in the first place? Well, the answer, unfortunately, lies in contamination. These diseases typically spread through water that has been contaminated with human or animal waste. This can often happen due to poor sanitation, lack of clean water sources and improper hygiene practices. Picture this, a region where open defecation is common or where sewage systems are inadequate. The waste can easily find its way into the water sources, making them breeding grounds for harmful bacteria and parasites. But human activity isn't the only culprit. Natural disasters like floods can also play a significant role in spreading these diseases. Flooding can overwhelm sanitation systems and spread contaminated water over large areas. It's a chain of events that starts with contamination and ends with consumption. This is how waterborne diseases find their way into our lives, causing havoc on our health. In essence, waterborne illnesses are a significant health issue that we should all be aware of. This invisible threat can have a serious impact on our health, stemming from pathogens lurking in contaminated water. These illnesses spread when we consume tainted water or use it in our daily routines. Remember, knowledge is the first step to prevention. Stay safe, stay healthy, and always ensure your water is clean and safe to drink.